Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3, and it reads, Strengthen ye the weak hands, and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong. Fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Even your howl with a recompense. He will come and save you. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear. For those who are troubled, rest with us. When Lord Yahweh Shai shall come with the heavenly hosts. Taking vengeance on them that know not the gospel and that obey not the most high. Another video of exhortation. You know, we prophesy, we tell you what's going to happen before it even happened, according to the Bible. Our power, great deliverance is coming. Great deliverance is coming. That, that, that should be our mind state deliverance, salvation. That should be our main focus salvation. Forget all this other crap that's going on in the earth. Don't, don't get caught up in none of this nonsense. Our mind is focused on salvation. The hopeful elect, our mind is on salvation, man. And this is exactly why we go out there on the highways and hedges. You help out Shemi Abishai put us um, ahead of the people. All right. As far as, you know, us being spiritual scouts. All right. Looking at the alternative news, my reading it with the scriptures, all right, because we're going to destroy, well, through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, this place is going down. This place is going down. He's going to give us our enemies for an inheritance, all right? And this message is for the elect. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, told us, which I will grab in a little bit, that he will go before us and he will destroy these nations. All right. And um, before I get go any further, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world inwardly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ and is no God beside him. Bahashem meaning in the name, Rekha meaning spirit, Kwadash meaning holy. I want to give double honors. To the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect, whom the most have given ears to hear. Okay. And um, hey, our Lord and Savior, as the brother was going into, is is you know, he's for us. Lord willing, we be of the elect, he's for us. You know, he put us in the forefront of this thing to where now we're not surprised. We weren't surprised when this devil pulled out the the C hip, you know. We not, I mean, we, we, Salaki. We weren't surprised when this devil pulled out the um, you know, the juice. We said we're gonna wait and see, and we're not gonna be surprised when this devil pulls out the C hip, which is definitely coming to pass. All right. So this is Deuteronomy chapter thirty one verse one, and Moses went. And spake these words unto all Israel. And he said unto them, I am 120 years old this day. I can no more go out and come in. Also, Yahweh have seen, have said unto me, Thou shalt not go over this Jordan. Yahweh thy power, he will go before thee, and he will destroy these nations. Okay? To destroy, exterminate, be destroyed. The Most High is going to exterminate these roaches from before thee, and thou shalt possess them. And Joshua, he will go over before thee, as Yahweh have said. You know? Now, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, what he did back then is. You know, he had things in order 
to where when it was all said and done, these nations were destroyed before us. And that's what he's doing now. All right. When you look at the news, what do you see? All right. You see. What you got articles like. um The CHIP being the center stage. But then you have articles and at the same time coming out. To where the bear Russia is being aggravated. As a matter of fact, there was an article I seen. Where it says, um. Who is that at? But I seen an article is going into how, um, well, Russia, I mean, no, Germany. And America both sold uh, um, war, you know, uh, artillery to uh, Ukraine, thus further pissing uh, the bear Russia off. And what does the scripture say? And was that uh, Revelation 13, and I want to say 4? How, when you look at the feet of the beast, all right, all right, or the end of America, all right. The end of uh, its hegemony, um, the bear will be right there, which the bear is Russia. All right. So when we read this again, Yahweh, thy God, he will go before thee. He will destroy these nations from before thee. You know, and um, as I mentioned, you know, in previous times. The most high put it in the minds of these nations, or, or, or I'm thinking about Egypt, to be proud, all right, to do things that would ultimately get them destroyed, just as he's doing to the American hegemony. When it was all said and done, he was looking at his destruction, right? They pursued the Israelites to their own uh, detriment, just as they're pursuing the Israelites to their own detriment now. You know? Again, they're pursuing... Uh, 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 World domination to their own detriment. The Lord told us that when he is about to fill his belly, then's why I throw him down. So again, you have these two major prophecies happening. And there's no coincidence. These two major prophecies happening at the exact same time. All right. It's going to seem like, you know, one is, is, is going to out, outpace the other. But at the end of the day, those nuclear missiles which Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to bring, he's going to allow, uh, you know, these nations to shoot off before this devil gets full autonomy with his um his C hip control. All right, that's going to be the that's going to be uh, uh uh what the Lord says, and he's going to destroy these nations from before us, and thou shalt possess them. All right, again going into Revelation thirteen, the Most High is going to destroy these nations. All right, with that bear, and it says in Revelations 13 and 9, that we shall take, you know, we shall take them and we shall possess those that had us in, cap in, in captivity. So it's all coming to, it's all coming to fruition. All right, this is it, this is the end. And thou shalt possess them, and Joshua, he shall go over before thee, as Yahweh have said. And Yahweh shall do unto them as he did to Sihon and all the kings of the Amorites and to the land of them whom he destroyed. And Yahweh shall give them up before your face that ye may do according, that ye may do unto them according to all the commandments which I commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not nor be afraid of them. For Yahweh thy power, he it is that doth go with thee, he will not fail thee nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him, In the sight of all Israel, be strong and of a good courage, 
For thou must go with this people unto the land which Yahweh have sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. All right. And this is why the men of Great Millstone and those that follow in like manner are, you know, defending the prophecies, standing ten toes, and a, a proper understanding of the scriptures, because um it was given to us to know the mysteries. All right. Which not saying that well us of the those of the hopeful elect it was given to know the mysteries. All right. And as the Lord had uh, Moses told Joshua um, to be strong and of a good courage. All right. It was specifically told him in the face of all Israel to be strong and of a good courage. Why? Because he would lead them. Okay. And, um, you know, for the, the elect, the Most High is going to use them to lead Israel. And he's, well, right now, of course. You know, in, in the form of preaching, but even in these last days, all right, through the miracles that they're going to perform, all right, that's going to save some. You know, um, the Lord said that uh, after they have received the Holy Spirit, they shall receive power. <laughs> okay. And this is what we believe. This is what we must believe. All right. The Lord told the elect. To be strong and of a good courage. Okay. And um, as the brother said, he would deliver us from the wicked. All right. That's the mind state that we got to have. We read these scriptures for a reason. Okay. It says, um, For thou must go with this people unto the land, which Yahweh have sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. Does it not say in Daniel uh, 7 that the saints shall take the kingdom and shall possess it forever and unto forever? Okay. But um, as we as we read in the saints, the Israelites, they will have to have had a leader. You know, and a leader of any pact would have what the strongest minds. So our minds have to be geared. All right, on the downfall of this kingdom. All right, on a, a prosperity of on our and, and on our prosperity. You know, that's what the men of the Lord they possess. They possess. They possess. You know that unthinkable that um that faith that uh was crazy to the masses. You know, and as the brother goes into, you know, it's going to be. Through some trials and tribulations. You know. It's going to be through some pain. It's going to be through some. Uh, you know. Have, you may have to lose your, your house. Or you know. So called comfortability. But one thing's for certain. We. We stay on. We stay on Yahweh by Hashem. child. we can't lose. The only way you lose. Like when you go into the. You know the stories of us taking down the um the Can you know the Canaanites. The only way we lose is if you know we go aside from the commandments of the Lord. Okay, but we we don't do that. Which you know these pistols are, are, are good to watch because it it keeps us in that mind state as as the brother had ruined in all caps too. He will deliver us from the wicked. Okay. But it's commanded us to be strong and of a good courage, knowing that that will happen. And fear not. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not. All right. Look at the, the, the apostles, the acts of the apostles of old. They were singing. They were singing in the prisons, you know, and the most high caused a great earthquake to happen. I was reading the book of Susanna yesterday, um, how she, uh, you know, prayed to the Lord and asked him, you know, to a... Uh, Deliver her for her innocency. All right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai told us that he would give us our enemies. He told us to be strong. Be strong in what? His commandments. You know, be strong in spirituality. 
All right, for he he's going to do the rest. He's going to play on the mind of these kings, right? He's going to, you know, uh, as the scripture is saying, um, was that Ezekiel 39? Let me grab that. Because he's going to do that. He's going to, you know, allow these devils to shoot off the nuclear missiles. He's going to allow things to spill over to the valley of Jehoshaphat. What's it saying in Isaiah 13? He must rift the host of the battle. You know? But in order to muster, in order to um, bring people together, you got to put the, the, the battery in your back. You got to put the words in their ears. All right, this is um, Ezekiel 39, verse 3. This is the Lord speaking. And I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand and will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Okay? So the Lord is going to do that. All we are commanded to do is to prophesy, to preach. All right? And to, um, as the scriptures say, as the brother had read, strengthen was I think he read it out of Isaiah 35. Strengthen the feeble knees. Yep. Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. All right. But how can we do that if we weak ourselves? If we being um, um you know uh fearful. The Lord commanded us to be strong, you know, to be strong, all right, which, you know, we got to, this point in time, you got to pray and fast even more, man, doubling down on our patience, all right, having a mindset to go without, man, because, um, how should I say, he's going to put us, you know, he, he, he told us, you know. You're going to have tribulation 10 days, but be thou faithful, and I will give thee a crown of life. All these things are written for a reason. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God, with a recompense, he will come and save you. All right? And why is he saying be strong and don't fear? Because... The way this devil coming, man, he's going to come, he's going to, he's going to blitz. You know, you know, when you have little time left and um, you, you desperately trying to attempt to stop the other team from getting that next touchdown, you know, you're going to blitz, man. You're going to give him a, a little, you're going to try to attempt to give him little time to think and, you know what I'm saying, to uh, make that pass. You know, but the Lord said when the enemy shall come in like a flood, he will lift up a standard. These are the things that we have to remember. These are things we got to remember. You know, these are things we got to remember. <clears throat> um, who else I wanted to grab? Okay, this is wisdom of Solomon. It's a lock. Hold up. Oh yeah, this this some I um you know I was thinking about too as uh we know for a fact that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is gonna take this devil out. Um the elder brother uh Yatazak was even saying last night, he brought out a beautiful point of how oh yeah, he brought out a beautiful point of how you know no man or no king, nobody, you know. They was never able to achieve uh, everlasting uh, everlasting kingdom 
by going against the Heavenly Father. And it's going to be the same way with this devil. This devil is, you know, he's thinking to, as, as um, I've seen another article, right? Which the, this is things that they're talking about at the WEF, the World Economic Forum, where it says, globalist brags about hackable humans. We can decode faces in your mind, your PIN number to your bank account. You know? So this is something this devil says, man. And like it says in Psalms 139, which the brothers out there in Dallas brought out last night, that's of the Lord. All thoughts, all our thoughts is only revealed to the Lord. Right? Now, the Lord will uh, 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 fuck us up on our actions. However, you know, a thought is just a thought until you, you know, uh, push it out there. Okay? But, um... Yeah, this is Psalms 21 and 7. For the king trusted in Yahweh, and through the mercy of the Most High, he should not be moved. Right? But on, on the contrary, for the king that um, goes against the Heavenly Father, guess what? He will be moved. All right? And this is what this devil don't, this what this devil, uh, don't want to hear. All right? Which is why I was um, alluding to, um, why well, I was going to bring out Wisdom of Solomon 2. Where it says, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 11, we'll call ourselves right if we are strong enough to get what we want. No one, ever, no one ever got anywhere by being weak, right? And to them it's weak to trust in a God that you can't see, that they can't see, all right? To them, faith is weak, all right? I got these guns right here. You know what I'm saying? I got my tanks. That's all I need to trust in a God for. That's that's what they say. All right? Not knowing that technology can fail and, you know, and be hacked at any time. All right? But this is the, the misled mindset of the devil. Righteous people are nothing but a nuisance. So let's look for chances to get rid of them. All right? This is the mindset that these devils uh, have. This is why us knowing this, we cannot fear. We have to remember that the Lord is going to deliver, and He's going to put us. He's going to put us, as as the the old saying goes, you know, the Most High, the God gives His uh, was it heart His strongest battles to His toughest soldiers. He's going to put us through the most fire. All right, but just like uh, Ananias, Misael. And as Arias, the Most High delivered them, but the ones who attempted to put them in that fire, they were uh, uh, burnt up and destroyed. So that's something to think about. They are against what we do. They accuse us of breaking the law of Moses and violating the traditions of our ancestors. All right? Which this is uh, going specifically to those uh, those small hats. Who think themselves to be us, which are consequently the, the rulers, you know, as it says in Isaiah, was it Isaiah 13? All right, to wag the hand um that they may go into the gates of the nobles, you know, they think themselves to be uh uh Israelites of the sons of uh, um you know of the tribe of Israel. They claim to know God that they call themselves the Lord's children. We can't stand the sight of people like that. What they are contradicts our whole way of thinking. They are not like other people. They have strange ways. They think that our moral standards are so corrupt that everything we do should be avoided. They boast of having God their father and believe that when all is said and done, only the righteous will be happy. Because the scriptures tell us so. The scriptures say, who have ever trusted in the Lord was confounded. But we'll see if that's true. Let's see what will happen when it's time for them to die, for them to die. If the, right, if the righteous really are God's children, God will save them from their enemies. So let's put them to the test. We'll be cruel to them and torment them. Then we'll find out how calm and reasonable they are. We'll find out just how much they can stand. And just like in the time of Yahweh Shai, these 
well, however long those 10 days really be, you know, if it be a month, be two weeks, we don't know. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough 10 days. All right, this is Yahweh Shai in his time of, in his time of his Garden of Gethsemane. And it says, um, so let's put them to the test. We'll be cruel to them. It even says in Revelations 20 and 4, all right, that they, they beheaded those for the witness of Yahweh Shai. This is literally the witness of Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, those that let's grab it. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his M-A-R-K upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. So that, that goes hand in hand with this scripture right here. So let us put them to the test. All right. And they're gonna fail that test. Because the elect is not gonna bow. And because they're gonna fail that test, as um who's in Antiochus Epiphanies did to the seven hundred children, you know. They're going to be uh, sadly mistaken. And <clears throat> in order to not take that L, they're going to get the most physical with us. All right. These are the times we coming into. It says, so let us put them to the test. We will be cruel to them and torment them. Then we'll find out how calm and reasonable they are. We'll find out just how much they can stand. Will condemn them to a shameful death. After all, they say that God will protect them. Now, that's not to all the elect. However, we have to understand that this is a very real possibility for any one of us. This is how evil people think, but they are wrong. They are blinded by their own wickedness, just like Nebuchadnezzar. You know, he was blinded by his own wickedness. All right. Um... Those that try to test Susanna, which they were Israelites, but um, just bringing out that point that the Most High will deliver the innocent. They were blinded by their own wickedness. All right. When God created us, he did not intend it for us to die. He made us like himself. Right. And the scriptures say. I think it's like uh, what harm can happen to those that fear the Lord. This is another one I was thinking of. In Genesis 4 and 7, if thou doest well, yeah, I'll grab that. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. All right. Now, um, just to keep on topic, I just want to grab that point. If thou do as well, shall thou not be accepted? So shall we not be saved if we do if we do what's pleasing in the eyesight of the Lord? You know, that's something we gotta um keep in mind. You know, thinking about the elder brother uh Zion Allah out there in DC, he said his his, his keep in mind videos. So it says it was a devil jealousy that brought death into the world, and those who belong to the devil are the ones who would die. So the only way we would die is if we if is if we side with him. Alright, because the Mosai told us that he would despise their image. You know, he would despise them. When he when he comes back, he he's gonna despise those, you know what I'm saying, that um got poked up. He's not gonna despise those that didn't. All right. The scriptures say, I'll grab that and end it out there. Who have ever trusted in him and was confounded? Let's 
I think it's in Hebrews 11. Oh, okay, so rock too. That's the spirit. I was thinking about that in my head. Look at the generation of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Let's look up that word confounded before we go. You know, and these are different thoughts. Um, you know, I've been thinking upon. So a little willing to make sense as I feel like I was kind of all over the place. All right, it says, cause surprise or confusion in someone, especially by acting against their expectations. All right. So it says, look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and what's confounded? You know, were we, uh, basically, was the outcome, was the, was the outcome never not? You know, a uh, uh, good for those that trusted in the Lord. Did they ever trust in the Lord and the Lord said, fuck you? No, nah, that's not the case. All right. Look at the generation of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful. And forgiveth sins and saveth in time of afflictions. Okay. So um, hey man, with that, shalom to the elect.